Well, we have our special player guest here today. He just arrived, Braden Schnur. I'm going to ask him. So, again, you're the pride of Ontario. You come up through the OTA ranks. I want you to make a plug for the OTA right now. Be careful what you say, but go ahead and tell us how the OTA has uh, fostered your uh, development in tennis since you were a little kid. Uh, uh, actually, uh, Jim told us a, a short story when you were 12 years old in the COE here. So go ahead and uh, say a few words for the uh, I just want to thank everyone, including Jim, especially for putting the tournaments together. Um, I know I used to, I grew up playing all these tournaments. I used to play two categories in the weekend, 12s and 14s all the time, and just try to get as many matches as I could. And it definitely helped me through playing those tournaments, getting a ranking, playing nationals, uh, getting the exposure to other Canadians and the best players in Canada. And uh, it wouldn't be without OTA that I wouldn't be here today. So it's really nice. Thanks, Brady. playing tennis at a young age. What 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 do you think was in you? What motivated you to keep comp uh, playing competitively? And what a reach for, for higher aspirations. So I started at nine, and I just started playing for fun. Uh, I played soccer also. I really liked soccer. I was on a really good team. Um, but what motivated me was just kind of doing something that no one in my family has ever done. Um, the name Schnur doesn't really doesn't have much behind it right now, but hopefully, and I'm hoping to make it uh, a big name. So. Yes, oh, indeed. Yes. <laughs> Thanks, Brady. Now, when you're when you're down in a match, okay, and nothing seems, seems to be going well, right? What do you say or do to help change things up, get yourself into that positive frame of mind? Um, I don't know. I'm kind of funny with those kind of things. Uh, I usually just try to look at the positive side of things and go back to what I do best, and that is serve and play aggressive and use my forehand and use my weapons. Because I know if I'm hitting those um, at my best, you know, it's going to be hard for anyone to really beat me. But uh, yeah, I just try to stick to the simple things, uh, routine shots that I practice millions and millions of times. Thanks, Brady. Okay, I'm going to open it up to uh, all of you. Do you have any any questions for for Brady you'd like to ask? Put up your hand. If you Stand want to up, question. or Kelly. Tell yes. us about tell us about your first oh. time here at Rogers Cup. How are you feeling? I'm really excited. Um, this is kind of like what I've always said. One of my dreams is to win the Rogers Cup and to win a Grand Slam. So for me to play my first ATP event at home in Toronto in front of my family. Some of my family members haven't seen me play since I was 14 or 13. So it's uh, it's somewhat of a dream come true, but I'm just looking forward to playing the next match. I have a really good opponent ahead of me. So I'm just excited. Fantastic. Is that Steven? Yeah. You have to speak up. There's a couple of big names you might have heard of. Um, I think it makes it a little bit easier, more of the eyes are going to be on them, that's for sure. So I think I'm just coming under the radar still, which is kind of nice in a way. But um, no, I mean, I've practiced them lots and I know them, their personalities. Um, and they always congratulate me for what I've done and so far. And it's just nice to hear from them and it definitely uh, motivates me to do what they've done. Dave, right there, Dave. Your favorite coach of all time. That'd be you, Brian. <laughs> um, I think there's quite a few that I've been with um, over the years. So if anyone doesn't know, I started with Brian Hurd when I was like eight, nine years old. Um, 
Then I came to Rexall. I trained with Dean Coburn and Bill Cowan. And then from there I moved to Florida. I trained with Hugh Turpin. And from there I went to the National Training Center in Montreal. Um, I trained with uh, Guillaume Maux, um, Jocelyn Robichaud, and Louis Borfica. So those are the coaches that have kind of helped me. And the coaches at North Carolina too, Sam Paul and Drew Phillips. So. <laughs> Any other questions? We'll take one last question. Here we go. Okay. I'm just interested, very good. How warmly were you accepted by the adult members of your tennis club when you were coming up as a junior? How warmly accepted by the adult members of your tennis club? The reason I say oh, that, yeah. right okay, um, I got you. The reason I, I say this is because of our club, I find a lot of resentment. Like these juniors are taking too much of our court time. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know. Um, I tried to play as much as I could. So whether I mean, I'd wake up pretty early in the morning um, before school started um, to get court time when most people aren't really up yet. Um, uh, I played in high performance groups here at Rexall, and then in the, which were in the afternoons. But um, I actually just tried to like. I played a lot of like club matches, which were for like older like seniors or uh, parents, I guess. Uh, it's a pretty good level, and it was good for me. I had to play doubles, work on some things, but I mean, it's it's not easy as a junior, nor it's not easy for people like you, folks like you. So I don't know. It's hard to say. Great. Okay. Thanks so much for the time you spent here with us.